look, the plays in this league are so close. The athletes are, are spectacular. Uh, it's, it's just so many plays. They're just a fraction of an inch or a split second. And those are the athletes we're dealing with. So I think the officials really overall do a great job of, of making those judgments. They have a fraction of a second to make it. And, you know, we can see the plays 10 times, and sometimes it's still hard to tell. So I give them a lot of credit for what they do, and I know they're trying to do a good job, and so are we. It's a, it's a special week. It's a special moment. It's a special game. And uh, it's a great privilege to be in this game. It's a great privilege to compete in it. It's, it's extra special. I knew uh, I knew Sean's grandfather, uh, John Well, and had uh, you know kind of the Ohio connection. My dad and other things from from that area, and other people that coached with him. So uh, you know, knowing Sean, getting to know Sean, uh, kind of you know through the legacy of his of his family and so forth. I mean, I have a ton of respect for growing up in a football family and and um, you know choosing the profession that he. Uh, has chosen and doing it so well. Uh, he's very impressive, um, pr very impressive job that he's done on, in multiple organizations, but certainly with the Rams uh, as the head coach in the last two years and, you know, leading his team to the Super Bowl this year. I mean, you can't say enough about the job that, that he and his staff have done. So I have a tremendous respect for him. And, um, you know, let's say, again, his family is – you know, it's a great football family. They're a well-balanced team. They have they have great players, uh, great defensive players, led by Donald, and you know obviously they're well coached. Uh, Golf, Gurley, good offensive line, good skill players. Cooks, uh, Heckers, you know is really a weapon. One of the I would say one of the most dangerous players in the kicking game in the entire football in the National Football League. Uh, obviously a kicker from Sarah Line kicked 57 yard field goal to beat the Saints. So. They have great players. They're well coached. They're tough. Um, they win a lot of close games because they know how to play good situational football. I mean, they're good at everything. You know, Julian's been a, had a great year for us. He's a he's a tough competitor. Um, he's very physically, and mentally tough. Right, as I put him up at the top of the guys that uh, we've had uh, here in that category. Uh, he plays. Uh, you say he usually plays the best football in big games when you need it the most. So. Um, you know, we're very fortunate to have him uh, in the, the, all the different roles that he does for us. His receiving, his blocking, his uh, plays in the punt return game. Um, and, you know, a lot of, he does a lot of unselfish things for our football team. Gives us a lot of toughness and, and big plays in critical situations. I mean, I love Charles Barkley. That guy is one of the most impressive people that I've ever met. Um, you know, to lead a league in rebounding at 6'4", to me, is just incredible. And, you know, his toughness, um, his playing, not just skill, but I would say awareness and instinctiveness. Um, and he does a great job. I love to listen to his analysis. So uh, I've learned a lot from him. Charles has been a great friend. And conversations that we've had through the years have always been very enlightening to me. He knows how to compete. He knows how to win. Um he knows, just knows how to play, whether it's whatever the sport is. Uh, so he's, I, I love Charles Barkley. Tight end. He's tough. He would block. I know he would catch the ball, and they wouldn't be able to cover him because he'd just body him up and get open. He, but you put him on defense, too, though. He'd tackle. I don't have any doubt. I mean, it was, I, I hate to see guys like that get wasted in basketball because they'd be really good football players. Uh, well, I worked with Bill for, uh, you know, a long time, and um, we worked uh, together as assistants, and then, uh, you know, I worked for him as a head coach, um, you know, in three different organizations, the Giants, the Patriots, uh, and another organization. So um, I learned a ton from Bill. Bill uh, was very helpful to me in the development of my career and um, giving me insight into areas that as an assistant coach you don't really get to see or uh, know as much about, uh, and he was very helpful in doing that. Uh, obviously, Bill was a great defensive coach. He taught me his 3-4 uh, defense uh, that we used at the Giants, which fundamentally has always been, even though we've used different variations of it, the fundamentals of it have been pretty consistent through the years. And uh, Bill's been a great friend. He was a great mentor, and um, I'm proud to have coached from him, for him, and I've learned a lot from him.
you aren't got the sleeves cut off. You got it, man. No, I never will. I'm going to wear that someday, too. I promise you. Yeah. I'm going to wear that someday. And then you can put it on. I'll send you a picture of it on Snap Face. You can put it out there. So it'll be great. You got it. Thank you. Well, Sousa, you know, he's a great player. We competed against him in Miami for a number of years, as well as Detroit prior to that. He's big, strong, fast, and, and very smart. He's a, he's a, a guy that's hard to fool on. Uh, screens and draws and misdirection plays and things like that. He reads them very quickly. Uh, but he's also a very physical player that can rush the pass or stop the run. And, and he runs well. He pursues well. Um, he's had some very, very good plays against us in pursuit on screens and things like that. And you just can't. You just got to finish your blocks on him. He's not out of any plays. Very talented player. I've said this before, but I think being a special teams coach is the best training I ever had to begin a head coach. Um, certainly being a coordinator is, is a great experience, but when you're the special teams coach, you, you work with every player on the team, probably with the exception of the quarterbacks. Uh, and there are definitely a, there's a lot of, there are a lot of differences between working with different groups, uh, the athletes, the mentality, the uh, just kind of how they see things and, and what you ask them to do. Uh, but as a, as a special teams coach, you're literally working with every single guy in some aspect or another. And that, those relationships and understanding how to deal with different positions and different types of players. Uh, and again, all players at different levels, young players, developing players, older players, players whose primary role was the kicking game, players whose secondary role was the kicking game. If you put all that together, uh, those are tremendous experiences and I'll, always be grateful for the opportunities that I was given to do that by Coach Marchabroda, by uh, Coach Rosano, uh, but especially by Coach Perkins at the New York Giants. You know, Ray Perkins gave me an opportunity to do that with the Giants, and that was a, a tremendous, tremendous learning experience. Um, in addition, you learn all of the situational aspects of football that as an offensive or defensive coach, there are just so many in the kicking game. Not that there aren't a lot of offense and defense there are, but as an offensive or defensive coach, you kind of learn those and you see the other side of it. The kicking game's different, and that when you incorporate that in, it, it helps your training as a head coach because now you're involved in all three. It's just, look, I think it's just about being honest. I don't think you tell somebody they did a good job when they didn't do a good job. I think if they do a good job, you tell them they did a good job. If they didn't do a good job, I think you tell them, here's what you need to do better. I don't believe in lying to a player. I don't believe in giving him false praise. And I don't believe in giving him undue criticism. But I believe in being honest. So whatever that is, it is. Um, my standards or values might be different than yours or the next person's. I don't know about that. But all I can do is, is be honest with the player. And that's what I try to do. I just try to be honest with them. I'm not going to tell them it's good if I don't think it was good. <laughs> That's a good one to end on. I love it. 